<laughs> All right, so we packed up and moved into our uh, new house a few weeks ago, as you know, and it was challenging to say the least, but uh, we did it. We did, we did it. it. We Yay. moved in here and we love our we new house. We had a lot house. of help. We love it so much. And today, Allstate agent Brad Palmer is with us, and he's here to give us tips on how to make your moving process a lot smoother and give us information on homeowners insurance and to help protect your homes from uh, personal property uh, with personal property. Yes, more. which and is so, so yeah. important. And at Home and Family, we pride ourselves in sharing uh, ways to help help viewers save time and money and uh, we're going to be sharing some of the tips that you have some of the unknown tips that you have when we have to move There's some really neat right. ideas that don't know right. that's right welcome yeah. welcome, welcome. Thank it's you. nice Thank you. Yeah. It's nice to be here and I, yeah. I know one of them we got touched at the top of the show this reverse thing that we're yeah, we'll, we'll get to that, that in a minute, minute. Right. but you, you uh, tip number 1 for packing up the place all right, you know, it's always stressful to pack and move. We've all gone through it, yeah. something we dread a lot. But to make it a little bit easier, and we've all been here when we pack and we unpack, and it's scratched. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's terrible when we do that. But all of your high-tech items, your TV entertainment, your odd-shaped items, any of your valuables, get specialty boxes from a mover. Uh, that, that's just for that sort of a for that sort sure. of a thing. Uh, these boxes you get at the gar at the grocery store and stuff just aren't going to do it. But be sure you they wrap them really well. I like yeah. to say we leave a paper trail. Yeah. That's another one. Right. Uh, another, paper yeah. I thought it was that like you're leaving. You know. Yeah. Sure you cover all your. You know. Yeah. What is uh, a paper trail? What do you do? Well, when you do what's that? nice about a paper trail is what I mean there is that you know we all think the bubble wrap is great and the styrofoam pellets sure. are great and you know that was all yesterday. But to be more green, just use the packing paper that you get the, at, the, uh, at the packing place. Or just plain newspaper, or even what I do, is I just take uh, um, just, just regular paper towels and just wrap things in paper towels. And then you can use the paper towels later after you unpack. You yeah. save them and so put them in a little bag. and so It works great. Sink, I do that, it. yeah. Now, yeah. do you have a, a room that you have that's a special room that... Yeah, and my wife taught me this. This is what's really great, too, is, is she's a planner, and she does it three or four months in advance. We start undoing our house. How many times do you move? <laughs> well, we've done it a few times, but it can be unnerving. So we, yeah. we, we take a special room and we make that our hub. And that's our moving hub. And so everything goes in that room. There's a table in there, and that's where we do all of our packing. And the rest of the house stays pretty clean during that time. So it works out really well for yeah. us. Now, you say don't yeah. resist labeling. Guys, yeah. you know, we don't want to look at a map. We don't want to yeah. ask for directions. We don't want yeah. to label stuff. Yeah. But you say don't resist that. Well, you know what? The, the, the professional movers... They label, and they label yeah. by color is how they do it. It makes it so much easier. How uh, uncomfortable is it when you undo a box in your bedroom and you find out it goes downstairs or you yeah. find out it goes over here? Or you can't find something. Exactly, Christina. Yeah, yeah. So make it like orange is for the boys' bedroom, green is for the bathroom, yellow for the kitchen, or whatever you might want to do, and just put those boxes there when you move in. It makes it so much easier. Okay, so I want to talk about this reverse, but anything that has a yep. party in it, I want yeah. to hear. So what is this reverse party, home, well, home party? Well, just a fun thing that you might want to try doing. Um, your last party in your last home, invite all your friends over and as you're clearing out the attic and some of the cupboards, you're going to find a lot of things there that you haven't even known you've had for 20 years. It's been sitting in there. Aunt Betty gave it to you some time ago, but you don't want to haul that to your new home and just put it back in the attic there. So bring your friends over and have them as a condition of their housewarming party. It's a reverse housewarming party. They have to take one or two items home with them. Kind of a white elephant gift home with have them. to yeah I'm gonna make them but what you've done what you've done is you've uh, you've saved time on your truck in your move mm -hmm. space and it makes it so much easier so you might try it so how is it, uh, important is it to actually get insurance yeah there's so yeah. much time and energy yeah. Yeah. into moving that's yeah. a great get the question. right realtor yeah. on board exactly. and then we don't get the right insurance. yeah yeah that's right you know if you're a professional mover is moving you get the insurance that they offer you just can't go wrong there sometimes it's a little bit more money as well but it closes the gaps and the loopholes that you might have under your homeowner's policy generally most homeowner's policies do cover your move and any damage that's done sure. in your move is that what we're looking for are there any uh, insight into homeowners policies I mean because when we move sometimes yeah. we don't get the right stuff or we it, just assume things yeah are yeah you know um, buying a home is the biggest purchase you'll probably ever make right. but yet most people really don't take the time to really figure out and read and understand and what it is that they're insuring. You know, I think we spend more time in the, in the grocery aisle trying to pick out the right uh, spaghetti sauce than we do sure. 
even looking for insurance, and it's not a 15-minute deal. Meet with an agent, um, sit down with an agent, and use the professional advice which they give you so that you can be properly protected. You know, it's a lot easier to discover those things beforehand than when you have a claim and find out you're uninsured. Yeah, oh, yeah. so, how, you know, you have to be careful so, with that. So you also right have to know the proper questions to ask your yeah, agent, too. Yeah, yeah, and that's really, really where an agent can give you the best help. Well, we said, we talked about this, too. You have to have a good relationship with your agent. You do. You, want to have that. you do, you do. And I know what all states are um, agency force nationwide. We're really big on customer protection reviews where we like to meet with our customers at least once a year because things change in people's lives and their insurance does too and we think that it, your insurance ought to keep up with those changes. So if, if, if we're doing the move and there's a something's damaged in the move, right. What covers that? Our homeowners? Yeah, your homeowners will cover, will cover that. that. Or if you've purchased the insurance through the moving company, that's extra coverage. Good idea to get so, both? I think so. That'd be, that Make redundant sure. coverage is certainly not going to do you, do you wrong at all. Sure. Well, you know what? Speaking of parties, yeah. we're going to have a Super Bowl party. <laughs> well, good. Yeah. You stick around? Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to teach you how to put fruit in a helmet. There you go, Christina. So we're going to do that. Okay.